All new this morning, a new report shows young children in Georgia are missing some important nutrition that is critical for their development. The CDC recently released a state by state breakdown showing kids are choosing sugary drinks over fruits and vegetables. Oh, we understand this struggle, but there are efforts to reverse that trend. Liza Lucas shows us what's already underway in the metro. From story time to play time to lunch time, the kids at Scottdale Early Learning don't miss a beat. Okay, Meal time is fun, it's engaging. In other words, lunch time is an opportunity for a different kind of learning. The teachers are asking wonderful questions just to build on the children's cognitive development, talking to them about the taste of the food, the texture, the smells. A new CDC report shows early exposure to healthy foods is critical to a young child's development. But across the country, kids five and under are missing out on key nutrients. In Georgia, parents report that more than half of kids don't eat a vegetable every day, yet more than 60 percent are drinking sugary drinks. That's where quality care for children comes in. The group works with the USDA, sponsoring more than 600 child care programs across Georgia, helping centers like Scottdale cover the cost of healthy meals and snacks. Inflation has taken over the world, and so they do provide us with financial support, also showing us um, what quality looks like. Nutrition is a big piece of quality quality and healthy development. We come in to provide reimbursement for those meals, but we also come in to provide training to make sure that not only are kids getting access to those foods, but that they choose those foods, they're being introduced to those. Experts say it can take 10 times for a child to try a new food before they like it. Just last month, the Scottdale team introduced 20 varieties of fruits and vegetables with the hope kids will build an appetite for healthy foods while sinners are helped with the cost. The cost of child care is high. Providing quality care is expensive. And anything we can do to make sure that children are receiving healthy, nutritious meals and that sites are able to afford to pay for them is more important now than ever. So this really puts it in perspective. Meals are the second highest cost for child care centers following staff. So this type of program where centers can be reimbursed can really help when it comes to limited resources. And for families, there is also help. We're putting together a link of recipes, activities, and more on our website for you at 11alive.com. Great information, Liza. Thank you.